<laughs> it's like it's like her kids are excited to go outside. Oh, mommy's filming. We get to pretend to be normal for an hour. <laughs> like, what does she have? Locked in fucking dog cages? All right. So you definitely can't have both. Ten kids. Be a vegan. Choose one because it is not physically possible from a nutritional perspective to get pregnant to have that many children healthy. I mean, most women can't even have one child, let alone 10. So she's clearly a liar. And that's really been the theme with these videos that I've been doing lately, critiquing people's diets. These people are liars. They're not actually following their diet slash lifestyle. Their only goal is to make money for themselves by selling you false hopes or false products. Uh, so we're going to see what she feeds her uh, 10 little gremlins. And what you're going to notice is, yeah, she's very pretty, nice looking, well-developed face, but her children are quite the opposite of that. And they're all actually pretty androgynous looking. Like you can't tell the difference between the poor kids, whether they're boys or girls, which is a side effect of the imbalanced hormones of not having enough meat in the diet, as well as too many estrogenic foods, especially the soy and the plant-based meat products. Lunch and dinner has turned up in these bags here. We'll just set it out on the table and let people see what we got. Yeah. Yeah. I put the little ones to play in the other room. So I think that was her son, right? There. The tall one with the long hair. You're relaxing there, Paul? Yeah. I'm about to edit video. It's so, so weird. beautiful outside. Wow, all the windows aren't clean. Okay, this is the food that came. This is so weird. I, I should probably research where they live, but they're in this like sky rise apartment getting food delivered. 10 vegan children dressed like hobos. What's the deal? <laughs> so dystopian. It really is. Bananas. Pears, this is what success looks like in the New World salads, Order. Big salads. They got Get to order your meatless meals in plastic. Green. Then in here, we've got some sandwiches that we aren't gluten free but they did gluten free and vegetarian sandwiches oh there's avocado oh yummy <laughs> this is so disgusting what what is this it's like <laughs> I, how much could they charge for that it's this like dry disgusting looking bread with a few slivers of avocados and vegetables how could anyone in their right mind consume that uh -huh. nice vegan sandwiches oh very nice and then over here we've got some chips oh no they are rice crackers Ooh, yummy. <laughs> oh my god it's almost like she's some type of slave monger and she's rationing vegan portions for her children and this is horrible dinner. so we've got a lot there and we've also got all these fruit here. this is so psycho and to feed 10 kids tea, like this oh they gave this nummy i forgot to film breakfast we had a few tubs of this coconut yogurt and the other one was apricot yogurt and they're vegan this morning they bought me papaya i requested papaya even though it wasn't on their list i got papaya i'm so happy oh, there's even more kiwi fruits underneath here but i'm using the bananas to ripen the kiwi fruits because some of them are a bit hard so three papayas got these here and also we've already ate breakfast yeah we already ate breakfast so i forgot to film that we got what did we get wheat fix saltata brand and, uh, toast nice jams th this is like best case scenario of what your son will look like if he's part vegan and, and i don't really believe that the family's vegan that she's been vegan because to even have the children as i said earlier it would be physically impossible so the question is how much meat is she eating how much meat are they eating what types of animal products are they sneaking into their diet and it is kind of creepy to me that, that she films her kids like this so i did cut out some segments uh, you guys can go watch this full cycle video if you want to can't remember what else it was there was more stuff we've got lunch and dinner here of course you can't remember what you're saying you have a vegan brain have this one tonight and then during the day, nice, we've got olives and different yummy things in there. Also, we have vegan banana walnut. Dry cake. 
and also some snacks which are peanuts and sultanas and some more sultanas so the food is yummy so we got a lot of food food's pretty good yeah it's good yeah, yeah. yeah. We, no complaints the food's perfect dantani has been filmed because your little brother sisters don't have shirts on no. so here's the food that we're having this is horrible this that. is horrible. So nice. <laughs> what is she feeding her kids? It, it's like pasta salad, but it's not even pasta because it's mostly peas and corn, two things that are definitely not getting digested. Man, no wonder these kids look like they're emaciated and starving to death. They're not getting enough calories. They're not getting any animal protein, no fat. No wonder they downed a bunch of coconut yogurt for breakfast. They're probably craving saturated fat. Uh, olives, you love olives, it this family might be vegan, but they probably had a surrogate mother that was a carnivore. Is it yummy, Aphrodite? Well, best dance dog that we have seen. Thanks to D'Artagnan. No, by King Ashok. Yeah, there was a big thunderstorm the other night. They counted 66,000 strikes, which was a record in quite a while. Thank you. Man, if these kids ever escape, oh my God. Go, Mega. So what we decided to do is have our dinner. And look out the view. It's so neat. We took the lights off inside here so see we're eating our food over here it's raining now good entertainment Romeo? yes this is why uh this is why the family needs a father figure so the woman doesn't enact her crazy dietary ideas upon the whole family so three balconies yeah. woo -woo, woo -woo. So much for quarantine yeah, being difficult. This yeah, lady's fucking check. crazy. So, um, hmm. Can I guess? Yes. You have Omega written all over you? Yes. Listen, I don't, I don't mean to be rude, but I mean, he, he like, people have a gay voice, and, and to me, it sounds like all her kids are gay, so. Hey, hey, maybe. And maybe Frankie Boy will be proven wrong one day with his vegan fairy boy theory, but uh, too much estrogen when you're a kid makes you start looking at other boys. What happened? Uh, I was sitting on the, I was watching the little people swim in the little bathtub, and then Omega pulled me in. Come on, is a young man supposed to sound like that? Come on. Come on. Turn Let's get back to reality. This is some weird shit, man. This, this is fucking it's weird. So funny. You're a lifeguard, Judy. Yep. So they're in two bathtubs. Wait, his name's Judy? So Shakespeare and King James are this. in one bathtub. Shakespeare and King James, yo. This is fucking wild. <laughs> this, this is the cra This lady. Listen, usually, usually I joke when I call these girls crazy. Usually they're like, they're just like a little fucking delusional and out of touch with reality. This lady should actually be tied up in a fucking straitjacket in a crazy house. Dream. And Nefertiti, Aphrodite, and Nefertiti, Omega. Nefertiti, Aphrodite. Aphrodite. This is such a big room that we've oh been in. Oh my god. The, Nefertiti, the Aphrodite are in a bathtub. What are we playing? Merman? What the fuck is that movie? God. Stay the whole night. Okay, go. Plus you got to the see little the other mermaid. didn't tell us. <laughs> Do you like being wet? What the fuck is this? Is so inappropriate. <laughs> You're doing what? Putting the mask on and going outside to see. The thunderstorm. Ooh, look, it's it's the look, not to be politically incorrect, but her kids sound like a bunch of boys. <laughs> like, is that? <laughs> wow, it's so dark outside. Yeah, go in the all bathtub right, with them. Right. Soy boys. They sound like a bunch of soy boys. Let's rephrase that. I'm thinking it's cold outside. No, it's not cold. It's warm. Is in Finland when it's like this? It's super cold. It's super cold. Well, it's never like this. The clouds are never that much. <laughs> it's like as her kids get younger and younger, the males sound more and more feminine. I guess all that estrogen on the vegan diet's adding up. It's warm. 
I know my brain doesn't understand that it's warm. I'm not going outside because I think it's cold, but if I were just went out, it'd be even warmer. <laughs> He's actually cold. You're going to have to eat outside. Yes, you don't have to have a mask on when you eat outside. Look at this view. This oh. is so beautiful. I just missed she, it. She made her kid put a mask on to go outside on the balcony. Holy shit. Whoa. Are you going outside to eat? The lightning's gonna get him sick. Good excuse. Is that ready now? He's taking a mask with him too. What is this shit? Warm. Yes. <laughs> it's like it's like her kids are excited to go outside. Oh mommy's filming. We get to pretend to be normal for an hour. <laughs> like what does she have them locked in fucking dog cages? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Quarantine's not very hard, is it, Paul? Actually, not one bit. Our children, our whole family's loving quarantine. Okay, I don't understand how this was uh, a day in your life because all this fucking nut job did was show us the meal she had delivered, which probably cost her $200 or something crazy for that slop. And then she filmed a storm outside. I don't think that was a day in her life. And if she actually filmed a day in her life, they'd put her in fucking jail. This lady's fucking nuts. Honestly, I don't even think I needed to do commentary over this. Like you could watch to realize something's very, very wrong with this family. And I think we did a video on her a long, 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 long time ago. I don't really remember what I said, but uh, yeah, these, uh, these are the types of people that get a million subscribers on YouTube and get hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views per week on their videos. So this is what they want you to see, boys. This is what they want the successful, rich, new world order family to be modeled after. That's going to be it for today. Before I say anything else, that's probably going to get me... Uh, penalized so if you guys can please drop a like on the video subscribe so that youtube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos therefore you can go to frank-stefano.com to support me through all of my businesses thanks again guys and i'll see you for tomorrow